In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the crankshaft position sensor on this Toyota Camry with the 2AR 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Let's get started. If you look through the passenger side wheel or from underneath directly, which is where I'm going to go, you can see the crankshaft position sensor mounted to the engine next to the harmonic balancer right over there. It's that black sensor with one mounting bolt and one connector. You do not have to remove the wheel for this procedure. The camera right now is looking right through the wheel, or like I said, you can go right from underneath and have full access to it. That's exactly how I'm going to do it. So first, let's unplug the sensor. There's a retainer for the connector right on top here. So if you press that, you should be able to wiggle this off, shake all the sand out of it. Now let's get a 10 millimeter socket and remove that bolt that holds this onto the block. break it free and let's remove it all the way. It does have thread locker on it from the factory so it's going to be a little tough to remove but make sure you don't break it. Obviously if you break it you're gonna have a lot bigger problems to deal with. And there it is. Now we should be able to grab that sensor, wiggle it and pull it out. Now that's usually easier said than done but there is an O-ring in there that usually gets hung up. If you need to pry it, well, be very gentle with a very small screwdriver. You don't want to break this inside the engine. Looks like it is coming out for me, so that's good. I'm going to keep twisting and turning. There it is. That's that O-ring. Here's the sensor. Take a rag and just make sure that opening is cleaned out. There's no debris or corrosion around it. Take your new sensor, try not to touch it on anything as it goes in because the tip is magnetized. That's how it reads its signal. And I also put a little bit of engine oil on that O-ring so it can slide in easily. There we go. Bottom it out by hand. You don't want to pull it in with the bolt. That'll usually bend this tab until it breaks off. And obviously that's not good. If it does not go in easily, most likely that means that hole has corrosion in it and you need to clean it out very carefully so you don't get debris inside the engine. Now let's get the mounting bolt and put it back in here. I'm gonna put the bolt through and then spin it. There we go. That's gonna drop it right into the hole where the threads are. And now drive that bolt in. I did feel the threads catch. It still has thread locker on it. I'm gonna leave that, I'm not gonna add any. If your bolt had to be replaced, I recommend putting a little bit of thread locker on it. That's what the manufacturer calls for. And now, get that 10 millimeter socket back on, thread that bolt in, and when you tighten it, you just wanna snug it. If you over tighten it, it can actually break that um, piece here that you're tightening on, the ear. So once it's snug, I'm giving it about an eighth of a turn. The thread locker will hold it in nice and tight there from now on. Make sure that connector is nice and clean. And slide it over. Make sure that clicks at the top. You should feel it engage. If you pull on it, it should not want to pop back out. There you have it. If you had any codes, go ahead and clear them. Start the engine and make sure it runs right. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.